Robin was there for John Belushi's final moments alive. For the beginnings of the OD. Yeah. John returns with Kathy Smith, and he greets Robin very warmly, and then they all sit on the couch. This Smith girl was ecstatic to meet Robin Williams. She was a big fan of Mork and Mindy, and she'd seen him at the comedy store. But, you know, from the first moment that Robin saw her, he was very uncomfortable, because he was wondering why, as Bob Woodward put it, Belushi was hanging out with such a crusty woman oh my who had clearly God. been around. Bob Woodward said this? Yeah, in Wired. Oh, book. did he? Yeah, this is oh, he from, wrote Wired? Yeah, this is from Wired. Oh, wow. About John Belushi. Quote, Williams did not consider himself a spring chicken, but Smith was frightening. She seemed somewhat out of place in John's life, at least from what Williams had seen. Even the room, tacky and messy, seemed part of this different ambiance. Dozens of wine bottles were open and scattered around. Williams wondered what John, who was overweight and depressed, was doing and why. He admitted a certain melancholy. He seemed not embarrassed, but a little out of sorts because Williams was seeing him in this condition. John stood up and got out some cocaine, and Williams had a little. Then John sat down and his head just dropped, as if he had fallen asleep or passed out. In about five seconds, he lifted his head. What's up, Williams asked. He had never seen anyone go out like that and then come back so quickly. Are you okay? Yeah, John said distractedly. Took a couple of lewds. He sat there on the verge of sleep. Williams decided it was time to go. Yeah, that seems like a good time to go. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Well, like, it's weird because those rooms of the Chateau Barmont, yes, they're they're kind of hotels, but you can actually rent them out as apartments also. So maybe that's why she put up her own decor in John's place, which is weird. (laughs) And why does he have this weird hanger on with him? Yeah, Bob Woodward's like... (laughs) What is this star doing with this ghoul of a yeah. woman? <laughs> what, what is Woodward? Has Woodward looking at a fucking mirror also? <laughs> what the fuck does he think he's talking about? So Robin jets home to Topanga Canyon. He, he's running home. He's like the fucking roadrunner. <laughs> yeah. Getting out of that situation. And when he got in, he told his wife, Valerie, that you know he'd just been hanging out with Belushi. God, man. He was with this lady. She was tough, scary. <laughs> and then they went to bed. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, it's crazy. His wife is putting up with this stuff. Like, yeah, why didn't you just come home four hours ago yeah. <laughs> instead of hanging out until three in the like? If it was a better time, Robin would have come up, come home at five a.m. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's basically complaining about having a bad time and not coming home to his wife. Yeah. Five a.m. Six days later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ah, ooh, ah, you should have saw this uh, broad. Not no 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 no. So then, that, that's a good mark. <laughs> He's just talking to a fire hydrant. Yeah. <laughs> so then, this is in the middle of Mork and Mindy's final season. So Robin is working the next day. Oh my God. Yeah. Really? So he's preparing in his dressing room to go on his Mork. And then when he saw Pam Dauber, he's like, oh, Guess what? I was hanging out with uh, Belushi last night, and oh man, he was looking a little rough. This girl was rough. Yeah, yeah. And the the girl he was with was rougher. <laughs> yeah, and she's like, oh, okay, whatever. And then later on in the day, she comes into the dressing room, and then she's like, "Hey, Robin, I don't know if you heard, but John Belushi's dead." Wow. 